Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 33rd question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041, section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question is from the triangles chapter and this question is broken down into two parts. The first one is to state and prove the basic proportionality theorem and the second part is to find the value of x for this given data using the same above theorem. So let us first start by stating and proving the basic proportionality theorem. I have written all the steps for the given theorem so that it becomes easy for explanation. You can see that I have drawn a triangle over here which is ABC and a line DE is drawn parallel to the side BC and the two points cut the two other sides of the given triangle. Now the basic proportionality theorem states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. So according to the given statement, if we are drawing a line parallel to one side of the triangle, then the rest two sides are getting divided in the same ratio. So for example, if the side AB is divided in the ratio 1 is to 2, then the same ratio is maintained over the side AC which becomes 1 is to 2. So this is what we have to prove. So to prove that the side AD over DB is equal to the side AE over EC. So let us start with the proof first. So to prove, let us first write down the given things. That is in triangle ABC, line DE is parallel to the side BC. And the second point is line DE intersects or meets the other two sides AB and AC at two distinct points that is D and E. Next, we are going to make a small construction in the given triangle that is join BE. So from B to point E we are going to draw a line and from point C to D we are going to draw a line that is join BE and CD. This is our first part of the construction. Now the second part is draw DM perpendicular to the side AC. So you can see I have drawn the line DM. It is perpendicular or at 90 degree to the side AC. Similarly, draw EN perpendicular to the side AB. Now after this, we are going to break this triangle into two parts. So let us start with the first part. Now we have considered only the part ABE from the above triangle which was drawn over here. So we are going to take only this part ABE. So consider the triangle ADE and triangle BDE. So you can see I have given two different colors for the two triangles. Now both the triangles share the same base AB as we can see. They both are resting on the same base and they both have a common perpendicular height which is EN. So now we can write the area of the triangle ADE and area of triangle BDE as So area of a triangle is given as half times base times height. So area of triangle ADE is half times the base is AD and the perpendicular height is EN. So half times AD times EN. Now for the triangle BDE it is 1 over 2 times the base of this triangle is BD and it is having a common perpendicular height as we have written here. So the height is going to be EN. So 1 over 2 times BD times EN. Next let us write a ratio between the two areas of the triangles. So dividing area of triangle ADE by area of triangle BDE we get 1 over 2 times AD times EN divided by 1 over 2 times BD times EN. We can clearly see that the EN and EN divides each other and 1 over 2, 1 over 2 also divides each other. So we are left with AD over BD. Now let us take area of triangle BDE on one side of the equal to sign and AD over BD on the other side of the equal to sign. So we get area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle ADE times BD over AD. So AD over BD flips when we take on the other side of equal to sign and we get BD over AD. Now let us consider this as our equation 1. Now we are going to repeat the same steps for the other part of the triangle which is triangle ADE and triangle CDE. 
So this was the original triangle we were referring to and from this original triangle we are going to refer only this part which is triangle ADC. I have redrawn over here and from this triangle we are considering triangle ADE and triangle CDE. So both the triangles I have given two different colors for easy reference. Now both the triangles are having the same base that is they are resting on the base AC and they have a common perpendicular height which is DM. So we are going to use the exact same steps which we used for the previous two triangles. That is we will start by finding the area of the triangle ADE and area of triangle CDE. Area of triangle ADE is half times base. The base of this triangle is AE and the perpendicular height is DM. So 1 over 2 times AE times DM and area of triangle CDE is 1 over 2 times the base is CE and the perpendicular height is DM. Now the next step is to take the ratio between the two areas of the triangles. So area of triangle ADE over area of triangle CDE is equal to 1 over 2 times AE times DM over 1 over 2 times CE times DM. So the perpendicular heights are same so they both divide each other and 1 over 2 also divides each other. So we are left with AC over CE. Now we are going to take the area of triangle CDE on one side of the equal to sign and AE over CE on the other side of the equal to sign. So we get area of triangle CDE is equal to area of triangle ADE times CE over AE. Now let us consider this as our equation 2. So we have got two equations for two triangles. One is for the triangle BDE and triangle CDE. So let us focus on these two triangles now. Now the two triangles which we considered that is triangle BDE and triangle CDE which are shown over here are resting on the same base DE and they are between the same parallel lines which is BC and DE. So if they have a common base and they are in between the same two parallel lines then the areas of the two triangles will be same. So we have written here area of triangle BDE will be therefore equal to the area of triangle CDE. So let us write here in place of area of triangle BDE we are going to write the expression which we had got that is area of triangle ADE times BD over AD is equal to now area of triangle CDE we had got it as area of triangle ADE times CE over AE that is from equation 1 and equation 2 we got from above. Now area of triangle ADE and area of triangle ADE divides each other from both the sides. So we are left with BD over AD is equal to CE over AE or we are just going to flip it upside down that is AD over BD is equal to AC over CE. So this is what we had to prove in the above theorem and we have proved. So let me write here this proves the basic proportionality theorem. Now let us move on to the second part of this question which is in triangle ABC if DE is parallel to BC, AD is equal to X, DB is equal to X minus 2, AE is equal to X plus 2 and EC is equal to X minus 1 then using the above result find the value of X. So we have got the result above using the basic proportionality theorem and let us use the same figure with triangle ABC and the parallel line DE to find the value of X. So let me draw over here. So here the triangle ABC is drawn along with the parallel line DE which is parallel to the side BC as mentioned in the question and the values of the respective sides are already marked. That is AD is equal to X, DB is X minus 2, AE is X plus 2 and EC is X minus 1. Since we have to use the same above result as we got here I am using this proportionality to solve the example over here. So I have written AD over BD is equal to AE over CE. Now let us plug in the values of all these sides. So X over X minus 2 is equal to X plus 2 over X minus 1. Now let us cross multiply both the sides that is we will multiply X minus 1 with X and X minus 2 with X plus 2. So we get X times X minus 1 is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now expanding the brackets x times x we get x square minus x times 1 gives us x is equal to 
Now this is of the form a plus b and a minus b. So I have used the algebraic identity a square minus b square. So we get it as x square minus 4. Now x square and x square subtracts each other from both the sides. So we are left with minus x is equal to minus 4. And the minus also cancels from both the sides. So we get the value of x as 4. So here for this question we got the value of x as 4. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.